And members of the West African College of Physicians, Nigeria, want the overhauling of the country's healthcare administration in order to reduce the challenges confronting the sector in the country. They made this known at the end of the 43rd annual general meeting held in Abeokota, Ogun State. TVC's Kazima Lawe reports. The Nigeria healthcare system is facing numerous challenges ranging from policy somersault, limited public funds, lack of equipment, high infant and maternal mortality, with its attendant effects on life expectancy, among others. Worried by the increasing nature of the challenges, the West African College of Physicians during its 43rd annual general meeting called on state governments to invest heavily on healthcare development in the country. The college laments poor nature of primary healthcare system in Nigeria, calling on stakeholders to work towards having required facilities and healthcare centers in the country. The government identified that there is a huge gap in healthcare governance in the country. We need to put into position facilities to strengthen healthcare governance in Nigeria. As it is currently, there is virtually nothing we call a healthcare system in the country. So we need to develop this. On his part, the chief medical director of the Federal Medical Center, Abe Okuta, Hadewale Musa Olomu, called for more professional training and practice in order to meet up the required standard. We should look into massive training of residents. Even the green ones that get trained, after their training, the CDM not trained within the training center in order to get employed. Within any system where you have more than one person, not to talk about when you have more than 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 doctors in the country, of course you will have bad elements inside, like any other organization. But the doctors in Nigeria are very committed, whether in the private sector or in the public sector. If you see the conditions under which we work, you will feel sorry that we are able to even deliver. The House Governor, Dr. Abiodun, assured them that his administration will not treat the issue of health with kid gloves, but also called for support from private sector. Kazim Olowe, TVC News, Abel Kutawakon State.